Frederick Emmons Terman, June 7, 1900 to December 19, 1982, was an American professor and academic administrator. He is widely credited, together with William Shockley, as being the father of Silicon Valley. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education. Terman completed his undergraduate degree in chemistry and his master's degree in electrical engineering at Stanford University. His father, Louis Terman, a psychologist who studied gifted children and popularized the IQ test in America, was a professor at Stanford. His mother, Anna Bell Minton Terman, attended Central Normal College, Danville, Indiana, and taught English at a school nearby. In 1895 she met Louis M. Terman at the school. The relationship ripened over the following years and they were married September 15, 1899. They then followed Lewis' education at Indiana University and Clark University. Frederick Terman went on to earn an SCD in electrical engineering from Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1924. His advisor at MIT was Vannevar Bush, who first proposed what became the National Science Foundation. Topic. Academic career Terman returned to Stanford in 1925 as a member of the engineering faculty. From 1925 to 1941 Terman designed a course of study and research in electronics at Stanford that focused on work with vacuum tubes, circuits, and instrumentation. He hired Charles Lytton and Carl Spangenberg, a student of William Little Everett. Together they established a vacuum tube laboratory. He also wrote Radio Engineering, first edition in 1932, second edition, much improved, in 1937, third edition in 1947 with added coverage of new technologies developed during World War II, fourth edition in 1955 with a new title, Electronic and Radio Engineering, one of the most important books on electrical and radio engineering, and to this day a good reference on those subjects. Terman's students at Stanford included Oswald Garrison Villard, Jr., Russell and Sigurd Varian, William Hewlett, and David Packard. He encouraged his students to form their own companies and personally invested in many of them, resulting in firms such as Lytton Industries, Varian Associates, and Hewlett Packard. Terman was president of the Institute of Radio Engineers in 1941. Topic. War years. During World War II, Terman directed a staff of more than 850 at the Radio Research Laboratory at Harvard University. This organization was the source of Allied jammers to block enemy radar, tunable receivers to detect radar signals, and aluminum strips chaff, to produce spurious reflections on enemy radar receivers. These countermeasures significantly reduced the effectiveness of radar-directed anti-aircraft fire. Stanford Research Park and Silicon Valley After the war Terman returned to Stanford and was appointed Dean of the School of Engineering. In 1945 he was influential in the creation of a microwave research laboratory at the Stanford School of Physical Sciences. In 1951 he spearheaded the creation of Stanford Industrial Park now Stanford Research Park, whereby the university leased portions of its land to high-tech firms. Companies such as Varian Associates, Hewlett Packard, Eastman Kodak, General Electric, and Lockheed Corporation moved into Stanford Industrial Park and made the Mid Peninsula area into a hotbed of innovation, which eventually became known as Silicon Valley. He served as provost at Stanford from 1955 to 1965. During his tenure, Terman greatly expanded the science, statistics, and engineering departments in order to win more research grants from the Department of Defense. These grants, in addition to the funds that the patented research generated, helped to catapult Stanford into the ranks of the world's first class educational institutions, as well as spurring the growth of Silicon Valley. Terman's efforts to create a mutual relationship between Stanford and the tech companies in the surrounding area also significantly contributed to this growth. Speaking of this effort, Terman said, when we set out to create a community of technical scholars in Silicon Valley, there wasn't much here and the rest of the world looked awfully big. Now a lot of the rest of the world is here. In 1964, Terman became a founding member of the National Academy of Engineering. 
In 1966 Terman played a central role in helping the Park Chung-hee administration establish the Korea Advanced Institute of Science, which later became KAIST. Recognition He was awarded the Iyer Medal of Honor in 1950 for his many contributions to the radio and electronic industry as teacher, author, scientist and administrator." The Frederick Emmons Terman Award was established in 1969 by the American Society for Engineering Education, Electrical and Computer Engineering Division. It is sponsored by Hewlett-Packard and is bestowed annually upon an outstanding young electrical engineering educator. The Frederick Emmons Terman Engineering Scholastic Award is presented to the students that rank academically in the top 5% of the graduating senior class from the Stanford University School of Engineering. Stanford's Frederick Emmons Terman Engineering Center was named in his honor. Terman Middle School, in Palo Alto, California and the adjacent Terman Park were named after Terman and his father. In 2018, the Palo Alto Unified School District School Board unanimously decided to rename the school in honor of Ellen Fletcher after Terman's father involvement with the eugenics movement came to the notice of parents and the school board. At the time of the renaming of the middle school, the city of Palo Alto had yet to decide if they would also rename the adjacent park. Terman, following his Terman report for the purpose of helping found what later became KAIST, is the eponym of Terman Hall. A section of U.S. Route 101 in California near Palo Alto is officially designated and signed as the Frederick E. Terman Memorial Highway. References Sources Gilmore, C. Stewart Fred Terman at Stanford, Building a Discipline, a University, and Silicon Valley. Stanford University Press. ISBN 0-8047-4914-0. External links PBS Biography Biography at smecc.org IEEE History Center Biography The Secret History of Silicon Valley on YouTube Frederick Emmons Terman Papers, 1920-1978 Call number SC 160, 110 linear feet, are housed in the Department of Special Collections and University Archives at Stanford University Libraries Frederick Emmons Terman, Radio Engineering New York, New York, McGraw-Hill Book Co., Inc., 1937, available online at archives.com